In this video, we are going to see what is an object literal in JavaScript. Object literal is really an important concept and often we use object literals. So let's try to see how do we deal with object literal, how do we create and what is the actual use. First of all, let us just understand the syntax. Let us create an object literal. So I'll say var. Remember, I'm using var because I'm considering it ES5. But if you are using ES6 version, you can certainly use let const, which I can do as well. But right now I'm going with var. So I'll say var. I give name of a variable, right? This you can decide whatever name you want to give. I use an equal to sign. I open and close the curly brackets. This is an empty object literal we have created. So you can say this is empty, sorry, empty object literal we have created. Once the object is created, you can add members to it. There are two types of members. First, you can add a property. Second, you can add a method. Property is nothing but a variable placed in object. And when you say method, method is a function placed in object. So if you have a variable, but if you put it in an object, then you call it as a property. Similarly, if you have a function and if you put it in an object, then it becomes a method. We are going to see in a moment, but this is just a theory part which you just need to keep in mind. Now we have created an empty object literal. Let's say I want to add few members to this. So I will first of all add, let's say a member called a, a variable, uh, which is a property, right? So I'll say property called product name. So this becomes a member product name becomes a member. I will say for example orange then I can say object dot price so let's say price I give some value maybe 20 right so now what actually happens is you have an object you have a container in a way which has two members and both of them are properties so we are using obj the name of the object literal we are using a dot sign and then we are using the member name. So when you say dot, that means you are allowed to access all the members of the object using the dot operator. Now let's try to add a function to the very same object. So I'll say obj dot. Remember when I add a function to object, we call that as a method. It is just a different terminology. So I will add for example, get data. That is the function I want to add. So I'll say function. So it's a method I'm adding to it. Inside this, I'm just going to display both the values that is obj dot product name. And I'll say obj dot price. So both the members I'm trying to display, right? Now the only thing remaining is I need to call the get data method of course because it's a member of the object i will say obj dot get data now in a way if you observe this object we have three members two are properties and one is a method so two properties and one method total three members we have in this object literal let's try to run this we'll observe that when the get data is executed it is displaying the value of the product name and price. So both the properties product name and price are referring to some value which is getting displayed here. This is how you create an object literal. But normally we don't create the object like this. What we do is in JavaScript we do not create an empty object and then we start adding the members. Instead we actually shift all these members inside the object but now because we have the object here we do not need to use this obj dot now when it comes to inside object then you have to use a colon sign to assign a value 
and when you have to end that you will put a comma so then you have the next property again I am not going to have this obj and dot of course I will not have the equal to sign as well and then I will put a comma again you have this obj which I am going to remove so we have the get data of course the function is going to be there but no equal to sign just a colon sign so everything is same this is a very common syntax you see when we create an object literal see this in the previous example we created an empty object and then we added the uh, members and here we we are creating and of course adding the members to the object literal of course this again has three members two properties and one method let's try to again run this and see is there any change in the output you will observe that there is no change in it now I also want to show that what actually this obj contains so here I'm just clearing the console and let's run this console.log I have tried on line number 10 if you observe console.log obj it says that it's an object literal it's an object we have the product name the the price and of course the function you can expand this to see right uh, there are various members there is also proto underscore underscore proto underscore underscore two times underscore at the beginning and end that actually is called as dunder proto we, we write it like this d-u-n-d-e-r dunder proto because it's easy to pronounce every time saying underscore underscore is a headache right so you generally say dunder proto what actually dunder proto is that you can check in one of my video about dunder proto but here what I want to show is you have an object literal which has three members two are properties and one is the method when you have these we call these as keys and values so in object literal you have key value pair and when you put it inside the object literal you have a colon sign to assign it this is the very basic way to work with object literal the question here is why do we need this so to understand that let us just go through this figure which I have shown here we already have product name price and a function imagine that this is the data which you want to send as a parameter to a function or you may want to send this data on the server if you have to pass the data in a function you will say product name price and so on by creating an object literal what actually you are doing is you are making a container so it's like this so by giving this syntax by typing this syntax var maybe obj or whatever the name is right when I say obj is equal to and then the brackets that means everything comes under one name so when you want to pass let's say 10 variables then you do not need to say variable 1 2 and so on instead now you have created a container which can be used to pass to a function or maybe a server so the advantage of using an object literal is to creating to create a container later on let's say you have passed the object to the function you can just say obj dot member name so here for example you have price and if you want to refer by any means then you can say obj dot price this is the advantage of using the object literal